Good morning, afternoon, or evening, Mystic Tribe, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, this is your daily reading for November 7th, 2020. This is a general read. It's not going to resonate with everybody. Timing is fluid. This, If this doesn't resonate now, it could resonate later, like within a few days. Energy fluid. This could be your energy or somebody that you are dealing with. Okay. Um, male, female roles could be vice versa as well. So it's pretty much that's my spiel. Right. So I'm going to get into the reading here and see what messages Spirit has for us. Okay. Okay, the first one is the theme of the day is rising above. This is about clarity, freedom, and solutions. Rising above your challenges. Then we have the Hierophant. You know, this is rising above, having faith, having belief, right? The Hierophant um, offers some inner wisdom and guidance. So, this is, it, this is inner wisdom and guidance, knowing that you can rise above whatever you face during your day. Yes, and if you don't like the way things are going, you have the power to change it. Change your attitude, change your mindset. Uh, being committed to yourself And not letting anything get you down. What's influencing loss? You know, this. So if somebody feels like that they've lost something or might have been at a loss, there might be some grieving, but the focus is rising above that, changing your mindset, right? And the Hierophant is also about commitment. So there could have been a loss of a commitment somewhere, whether that's a romantic relationship, a friendship, a loss of a job. But there seems to be some kind of grievance here. Grieving, sadness, and you can rise above this. Justice. Okay, somebody is grieving over something that they feel was totally unfair. Okay, there is a lack of balance. And, you know, there seems to be maybe... Facing your truth, facing the truth of a situation is influencing this. So some truth may come out that you felt like you were treated unfairly <clears throat> in love. You know, that's what this feels like. A truth came out in matters of the heart and somebody's feeling this loss, this pain. But your focus is you know Deep inside with your inner wisdom, you can rise above this. Advice is the moonlight. Um, the moonlight brings about, you know, this is emotions and this is intuition. This is trusting your intuition. Um, this is indicating travel, romance, and potential. I'm not really seeing that as much. Yes, the moon could be about romance. But I'm feeling more about getting in touch with your inner self, getting in touch with your emotions, those raw emotions, getting them under control, <coughs> calming the waters. Because you already know that you're going to rise above this. And this is about trusting your intuition. Eight of Wands, because you're, Eight of Wands is traveling. There may be somebody, maybe it is saying, get away. Okay, for some of you, it might say, just get away, get in your car, take a road trip, get away from it all. For others of you, this is about communications. This is about communicating your emotions, your feelings. There might be a lot of communication back and forth trying to resolve this issue. And we have the lily. This is wise. This is knowledge. This is something long standing. So this is about. Wisely communicating yourself. This is inner wisdom. Again, we have this theme of going in 
and trusting that inner wisdom and see what the potential outcome is. The message, positive news coming to you. Seems like there's something positive going to happen out of this. A positive outcome. You know, sometimes when we're going through these things, we can't really see the positive in things. The devil. Okay, the devil card is positive news, a positive outcome. And I feel like it's a release of some toxic negative energy. There may have been some obsessions. And this is security. There's a change in security. This feels like a shift that is occurring. Somebody moving away from a very unhealthy connection here that has brought about some pain and suffering. And the justice card and the devil card mirror each other, which is like definitely negative vibes there that you felt very treated very unfairly and something was definitely wrong in this connection but you're rising above it you may need to get away but i feel like the travel is inner traveling within is the advice and trusting that inner wisdom trusting that intuition letting it come out letting it shine because you're going to be okay there's definitely a, a positive change as far as your security is concerned, this is, could be a living arrangement. But I feel like, you know, this anchor is not in the water right now. So I feel like lifting up that anchor and releasing and moving away from this negativity. And as you do that, there's going to be positive messages coming through, positive things, positive change. So this is the message that I have for you. For Saturday, November 7th, um, let me go ahead and grab an angel card while I'm thinking about it for some sort of affirmation or positive message here. Well, this isn't an angel card. This is, it's, it's, I think it's um, the goddess and goddesses or something. I forget the name of this deck. The Holy Spirit, you can't get more divine and, than this. You know, this is expecting miracles, expecting your things in your life to turn around. And remember that only love is real. Miracles will occur naturally. Spirit has your back. Beautiful. Spirit has your back in this. The Holy Spirit has your back. And trusting in that. That's the Holy Spirit speaking to you when you go within and trust that inner wisdom and seek that inner wisdom. Okay, now I'm done. This is the messages I have. Please do make sure you subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Hit that thumbs up button. And feel free to leave comments below. I read all my comments. Sometimes I'm unable to respond if I'm busy, but I at least read them all. I respond to the ones that I'm able to. And please share my video, share it on YouTube, sh sh or on YouTube, share it on your social media, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And I love you all and blessed be.